All right, let us head to Davos, Switzerland. Liz Clayman sat down with the Prime Minister of Kazakhstan. That's an emerging market you might want to keep your eye on. Some 30 world leaders have descended upon Davos to not just attend these panels at the World Economic Forum, but to also strike deals. One such world leader is very much in focus. A lot of countries and companies want to talk to him, not only because his country is resource rich, but they have a projected GDP this year of 4 to 5 percent. We welcome Prime Minister of Kazakhstan, Karim Masabov. 4 to 5 percent, that's better than the U.S. How are you doing that? Uh, Kazakhstan is an emerging market country. That's why uh, it's e much easier for us to achieve such a result. Four to five percent is a very conservative approach. I really hope that we can achieve the same results as we did in 2010, seven percent growth last year. What would drive it? Is it your natural resources? You have grains, you have oil. Uh, Kazakhstan is the 10 biggest uh, country by reserves by oil in the, in the world. We are exporting 1.5 million barrels a day and we are uh, within our plan to double it to 3 million barrels a day within a decade. And secondly, we are quite rich uh, by zinc, metal, and we are number one by reserves by uh, uh, uranium. And I think uh, nuclear energy is the next very important issue in the next decade. Oh, everybody's talking about things like uranium, but also, also rare earths, rare metals. Metals. You have that as well? Yeah, we have uh, that as well. But what is more important for us is not to be a resource-based economy. We have to diversify our economy, and the key issue for that is education. And I think we should, and what we are doing within our program, to pay more attention for a human resource development. It doesn't hurt, though, to have the oil reserves. And you have this Kashagan oil field, which is the largest oil find in 40 years. Will you use oil as a weapon? We see a lot of Arab nations do that. Will Kazakhstan be fair in disseminating its oil and selling to other countries? We are a very small country. We are huge by territory, but we are only 16 million people, and our size of our economy is comparatively small. Mm -hmm. And we can develop in the future if our growth and our investment climate will be sustainable. We honor our signature, and whatever we sign, we respect. Sanctity of the contract is an important issue, but it should be from the both sides, government and investors. If investors are making some mistakes and coming to us to renegotiate the contracts, this is a different story. We had this issue three years back. We negotiated with investors about the Kashagan project, mm -hmm. but within the framework, we found the right solution, and everybody is happy, and we are going ahead. You are an emerging nation. You have higher GDP, but emerging markets tend to gyrate more dramatically when hit by economic shocks. Mm -hmm. Can you do anything? Have you put anything in place that will prevent you from suffering more from economic shocks in the future? Uh, from 2000 till 2007, we had a growth 9 to 10 percent. But 2007, 2008, we were hit by the financial and economic crisis worldwide. I think the lessons we took, transparency, accountability, regulation over the financial sector, an increasing of competitiveness. Very simple issue, but you have to do it. Not only talk about it, mm -hmm. but have to do it. And macroeconomic stability. We are a small country. We can manage it. Karim Masimov, the Prime Minister of Kazakhstan, speaking with us here on Fox Business. Hey, we're honored to speak to any world leader, but one like Karim, who is truly looking ahead and learning from America. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much.